they're all going to rebel, all right? So they're, they're, some are more rebellious than others. And I think when you do see your kids starting to rebel, particularly if it's the, the, it's the oldest kids, mm-hmm. or uh, you, you do worry, the, oh, gee, what have I done? With 10 kids, and it sounds like from talking to you that you have a pretty good relationship with most of your kids, at least. Um, how did you go about building that relationship with them and keeping a relationship with your kids? Mm, okay. Um, yeah, look, look, we have a pretty good relationship with, with, with all of our kids, actually. So, but that, I guess, um, we might not have always thought that was the case, so particularly um, growing up once they hit their teens and so on. And I guess, and, and when I talked about it being a bit more relaxed now, I think I was a bit too, probably too strict uh uh-huh. when they were when they were sort of go, going through their teens and and then because they're all going to rebel right so the, the, the some are more rebellious than others and i think when you do see your kids starting to rebel particularly if it's the, the it's the oldest kids mm-hmm. or uh, you you do worry you think oh gee what have i done and what have my you know what could i do better and all of these things right. sort of go through your mind but what we found is really just it's just the stages that kids go through Mm-hmm. And and um, while it's not pleasant, okay, when sure. they go through those rebellious stages, uh, it it is good, great seeing them come uh, out the other side. So mm-hmm. that's what we found with 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 our kids that you know even the ones who were uh, you know what we thought oh we're just not sure what they're going to turn out um, turn out uh-huh. probably not nicest phrase to use, but you do you do can get concerned. But um, to see them come out of that rebellious stage is yeah is. Um, is is great. It's it's fantastic. But and, and but but while they're in it, you just if you can sort of have the mentality, which I do now, is that uh-huh. oh this this time will pass. So you can sort of think sure. of that. This time will pass, and it's frustrating. It's annoying. Um, and they're annoyed. <laughs> they're they're frustrated and annoyed at you as well. It's not one, right. it's not one way traffic. But um, if you sort of just hang in there, keep praying, and um, yeah, that time will pass, and sure. they'll turn around. Not that not that even. I mean, our eldest is thirty five, and as uh-huh. I said, uh, and that is she's got three little ones herself now. So, uh, it, you know, so she'll go through all those battles herself, a bit, sure. you know. Um, but anyway, yeah. you just sort of know it's a cycle of yeah, a cycle yeah. of life, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting to hear you talk about kids rebelling. And I think as homeschool parents, oftentimes we think, well, our kids are not going to rebel. They're going to just, you know, sail through life with us and everything's going to be great because we're teaching them here at home. And one of the things that I'm learning right now with my oldest daughter is that what I think a lot of parents might see as rebellion is not, it's not that she has a rebellious heart, is that she's now an adult and she wants to figure some stuff out for herself. Yeah. And so it's sometimes things that we don't necessarily see eye to eye on things, but we've set that foundation. And so she's not out doing anything crazy. You know, she's not smoking or drinking, which I mean, some kids go down that road, but some people from the outside might look at that and go, well, oh, she's being rebellious because she's not in agreement with you on these particular ideas. And my husband and I are learning very quickly that it's not that she's being rebellious. It's that she is establishing her life as an adult but we're tr- we trust her because we've set that foundation for her through a biblical worldview. And so she knows who she is. She is a Christian. She loves the Lord and she she is sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So she knows right from wrong. And still she is figuring stuff out on her own. And so there are times where we're just like, okay, well, we're going to let you do your thing. And, you know, if you slip and fall, don't skin your knees up too badly We'll help you back up if you're going to need help back up. Thankfully, she hasn't done anything that's been super crazy. I um, mean, we're very grateful for that. But um, I, I think that idea of rebellion is sometimes just that difference of them learning to be who they are, you know, who God made them to be, their own person. And they're going to differ from us on their yeah. their ideas about life. Absolutely. And I think, yeah, you, that you've, you've built their solid foundation, you know, you built with them a solid mm-hmm. foundation. Sure. And that that is just so super important. So even yeah. if they, and, and and God willing, they don't stray too far, but, you know, even if your kids, as they get older, you, they have to the stray away from God or, you know, mm-hmm. uh, away from our Lord. Look, I, I think you just keep praying, and, and but don't yeah. ever get disheartened. Don't, don't, don't get despair about it. Sure. Because there's so many times, even, you know, in, in our experience that we've seen that they've, 
you know, that they have straight. You just think, oh, gee, you know, what have I done wrong? What could I have done better? But, yeah. you know, they do come back. Sure, uh, yeah. And they do come back. And 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 I always, always think they will come back. And it might, and I always think they'll come back in God's time as well. It might not yeah. be in our time. So right. I always have that philosophy that, you know, um, I'm always very aware things happen in God's time, which right. doesn't necessarily, it's as frustrating as it is, it yes. doesn't necessarily mean it's our time. So right. with that, philo- I think that's, that philosophy has helped us a lot. Sure. Um, you know, yeah. and that, yeah, so that's, yeah. that's one to think about. Just because they're lost doesn't mean that they're going to be lost forever. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 